This is a modified air spy. It has good electrical contact between the SMA connector and the metal case, but it also has a good electrical contact between the USB screen and the case. I've shown that in a previous video. You can see the screw here which holds the metal piece that makes contact with the USB connector. This is Linrod uh, and you can see on the S meter here what is the RMS power. It is 56.7 I switch on the noise figure meter and you can see it's set to 8.4 dB and you can see here that it went up by pretty near 3 decibels. I have already forgotten what I said previously. Now it's 59.74 and it still shows 8.4 dB. So it should be 56.74 now if I had made this correct. There is a difference of 0.1 dB. I don't want to make it that accurate because there are much bigger problems than that that I will uh, show. I have now removed the electrical contact between the case and the USB screen and here is what we can see. Uh, the noise level is lower now, it's 54.7. The noise figure meter now is adjusted to 6.3 dB and that gives the expected uh, 3 dB increase within a tenth of a dB approximately. So there is now a, a 2 dB better noise figure because I removed that electrical contact. Uh, it could be worth it to avoid the QRM, but maybe it is not a good idea, depending on what you want to do and what the problems are. Note which way the card is mounted inside the box. With the AirSpy uh, logo on top and the card in the bottom. Now I have turned the box the other way around and this is what the screen looks like. The noise level is now 65 and a half dB and I can see traces of something undesired there. To get a 3 dB increase I have to put the noise figure meter at 17 dB. I don't know if you can see it here, no. From here. It stands on the high scale. It was on the low scale before. This is a phenomenon that I discovered accidentally. Uh, the modification I have suggested uh, to connect the USB screen needs one more thing, one has to connect also the uh, coaxial connector. I hold something there and you can see on the screen when I happen to get a good contact it brings down the noise to 57 or something and if I remove, it goes up to 65, uh, what's that, that's 8 decibels, 8 decibels loss. So something more has to be done 
if one makes this modification. Now there is a very good connection between USB ground and RF ground on this board. Now I have mounted it into the box again in the way that probably still makes no contact between the wall and the coaxial connector. On the screen I see this. And now I make it focus. It is 54.88. And I switch on the noise generator. Still on 17 dB. And look at the screen here. And you can see the noise figure is much lower. Something. Short-term memory is no longer there, so I have to go back. 54.7, so I need 57.7. dB less. Maybe like that. Well, and this is not quite stable. I don't use it often enough. Something like that. So, uh, if you do the modification, also make sure that there is a good connection between USB ground and RF ground. This is another air spy. It's not modified at all. And here is what I have on the screen. I have increased the gain of the waterfall from 1 to 2 to make things easier to see. And you see the noise floor at 55.01. Now I make a contact between the coaxial connector and the metal case. And I have to press fairly hard to cut through the color. And look at the waterfall when I remove it. And this extra noise corresponds to only 0.1 dB, but 0.1 dB, if you get it for nothing, is not bad. The noise figure, I will get to that, we see here 55.02, so you want 58.02. I have it on 6.3, approximately at least, and I wanted 58.02, that is two tenths more, maybe like that. switch off fifty four ninety eight and fifty seven ninety five 
So the noise figure is 6.5 dB on this original state unit. Here is the real problem uh, with the unit. Now I have a dummy load and it's properly tightened so the SMA connector is completely RF tight. Uh, I place the box on a piece of metal and then I see here the local FM station. It's uh, a bit more than 10 kilometers away and it's not very high power. And you can hear. Nearly noise free reception. So the signal comes in to the unit through the USB cable. I can short here. Here is where I connect USB ground. You can see the four uh, holes through the board to the surrounding RF ground. Not beautiful, but now all four via holes are connected to the RF ground. Now the second box is completely modified. Uh, this is what it looks like. The noise floor is at 54.97. And I switch on the noise source, reading 6.4, and now it's 57.95, so it means 6.4 dB. I think that is 0.1 dB better than before, but that's within measurement uncertainty, I think. You can check more carefully on the video if you like. Now it has the dummy load and it's laying on this metal piece that makes it act as an antenna with the USB cable. What I see on the screen is not quite what I want to see. Uh, the local FM station is there. Not very strong but quite clear and if I were living closer to it, it would be much stronger. Or if this would be some local interference in my shack, it would couple into my system. You can see when the modulation decreases, the carrier is well visible. Now there is a trick I can do to fix this. This is a resonator for the FM band. Four turns with some stray capacitance. And then what I see on the screen is like this. And if I let it go, you can see the station comes back. Now it's not resonant anymore, the inductance is too small and there is no parallel capacitance. I can try to get rid of the current that is flowing on the screen by shorting here. But that does not have much effect. Now it is shorted and I remove the shorting. It has some small effect, but not very much. And I cannot say I understand it. Maybe some signal is going on the wires inside the screen. Uh, and there is coupling between the inner wires and the outer. Means the three screen might be too thin. Anyway, the ferrite here is nowhere near as good as the resonator I made in preventing currents on the cable.